What's the deal with at-home do-it-yourself allergy test kits? Well, that's a great question. So um, if you've looked at some other clips that we have in regards to the, the role of allergy tests, then you've likely heard me say that allergy tests are not screening tests. When you go to see your allergist, they should not be placing a bunch of allergy tests on you or ordering a bunch of allergy tests, then picking and choosing what results come back to diagnose allergy. The diagnosis of allergy should always start with a very detailed clinical history. What are your symptoms? What's the recurrence of your symptoms upon exposure to the allergen? Is that consistent or worrisome for allergy? If your history is suggested for allergy, then allergy tests can be obtained um, to help confirm or, or rule out the presence of allergy. With at-home allergy tests, it's backwards. They actually screen for a bunch of allergies, but these tests were never designed to be used as screening tests. If those results from an at-home test come back negative, they're likely reliable and we can believe that allergy isn't present. But if they come back quote unquote positive, we absolutely have to question the validity of it because we get high rates of false positive results. So we always recommend extreme caution in ordering any type of panel testing, especially when it's done at home without proper evaluation first.